1957, a TV show called Whirlybirds debuted in the US. There were 111 episodes about two guys who owned a helicopter and got hired for all kinds of different jobs, mostly involving being a hero of some sort or another, as most pilots are, and the show ignited a nationwide aviation gold rush of sorts. That same year, Rudy Enstrom, founder of Enstrom Helicopters, started building aircraft. Frank Robinson, founder of Robinson Helicopters, began his career at Cessna as a mechanical engineer on the Skyhook, the only model of helicopter Cessna ever made. And Dwight D. Eisenhower became the first U.S. president to ride in a helicopter, setting the stage for Marine One. This was all in 1957. That same year, Wes LaMotta founded Columbia Helicopters. The problem was, Wes was entering a crowded aviation marketplace. He needed something that would differentiate his company from everyone else. He tried all kinds of things, including flying odd jobs, flight instructing out of his backyard, and then there was that high-flying trapeze act that I'm not sure would pass FAA approval these days. But it was in that first year of business, in 1957, that Wes made a name for himself by rescuing 15 sailors from a sinking dredge off the Oregon coast. He was able to get the first dozen by hovering close enough for them to climb on board, but the last few were too close to masts and rigging for Wes to get close enough. So he went back to shore and tied a rope to the skid, flew back to the ship, and pulled three more people out on the end of a line. Wes didn't know it at the time, but he had just done two things that would end up differentiating the company from what was then, and is now, a crowded market. First, he pioneered what we would later call DVOC, Direct Visual Operational Control. That is, controlling a load at the end of a long line by looking down directly at the load instead of relying on someone on the ground to direct him. Columbia Helicopters got so good at it, it was practically all we did. Construction, forestry, oil and gas, firefighting. It was all about external loads. But the other precedent that was set that day was a can-do spirit of camaraderie, ingenuity, and being part of something that's bigger. West didn't rescue those sailors because he thought he would be rewarded for it, although he was. He didn't do it to become famous, although that happened too. He did it for a reason that would eventually become the foundation of the company's core values, integrity, honesty, and strong moral principles. Over the next six decades, Columbia Helicopters would build on that foundation, emphasizing safety, customer service, performance and teamwork, and never forgetting that you can't have any of that without integrity. We focused our fleet on tandem rotor aircraft, the 107, the 234, and the 47D. We work all over the world. We reset foreign aircraft. We fly famine relief. We make movies. We build power lines. We fly with night vision. We move passengers. We deliver mail. We build towers and set cameras. When special forces in Afghanistan needed vehicles delivered quickly, we adapted a system we designed in Alaska and transported them as an external load. When an outpost needed resupply, sustainment tried sending mills, but the rotor wash was too damaging. So now they send a 107 with a 200 foot long line. Our customers depend on us every day. So our crews maintain the aircraft at night to maximize availability. We have a 24-7 operations, safety, and control center that provides flight following, maintenance coordination, and emergency response. We have a logistics team dedicated to getting parts on site in the most expeditious way possible. And we have shops full of mechanics who strive to deliver the best product possible. And we do all this, not just because one of Columbia's core values is to exceed expectations. It's because our employees want to be the best. We want to be the first operator in the air in the morning. We want to find a way to accommodate every request. We go the extra mile. We strive for excellence in everything we do. And we uphold our core values at every level of the organization. Our company vision is to lead our industry with dedicated people delivering inspired solutions. That's who we are and what we do. We are dedicated to the mission, dedicated to what this company stands for and what it can achieve, and are always looking to build that next greatest inspired solution. We are Columbia Helicopters, dedicated people, inspired solutions.